Hello, I'm Georgie. I'm a pregnancy yoga teacher and uh, I'd really like to say thank you to ISOFest for putting on such an exciting event despite all the stuff that's going on around us and actually that links to the kind of practice we're going to do today. It's very much about finding a feeling of being centered and grounded, allowing all of the crazy things that are going on around us to happen um, and acknowledging them but coming back to our center and grounding ourselves. So, this is a pregnancy yoga practice. Please wait until you've had your 12 week scan before um, practicing pregnancy yoga. If you have any medical needs, always check with um, a medical professional before practicing, please. Um, and if you have vaginal bleeding, uh, placenta previa or preeclampsia, we wouldn't recommend um, that you practice pregnancy yoga. Uh, it is a really gentle practice today and we're going to start off with really connecting to our breath. We're then going to connect our breath to our movement, really getting into our bodies and making sure that we're doing things that are going to help the pregnant body as it changes through pregnancy. And then we're going to finish with a relaxation that's going to help you to feel grounded and centered. So enjoy. Thank you. So we're going to come into a cross-legged position. If you don't have a yoga block, um, you can use something like a, a hardback book, that would be great. Anything to raise your hips up. It's fine if you don't have a block, but it'd be more comfortable if you do. Crossing our legs. Flex your feet just to protect your knees. Hands resting gently anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Feel the sit bones growing heavy, melting down towards the earth. Allow the spine to become tall, a lovely long line all the way up to the crown of the head. Relax the shoulders, just tuck the chin slightly and already you should start to feel a sense of connection with yourself, with your baby and with the ground. If you're not there yet, don't worry, just come with me go through the motions and eventually you'll get there. So we're going to connect to our breath now, closing your eyes. We're going to inhale for three through the nose, one, two, three, out through the nose for six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, carry on with that rhythm but in your own way. So in for three, out for six. If you can, try to focus only on the sound of your breath. And if you notice your mind wandering, just allow that to happen, but then bring it back to the center. No judgment, just acknowledge and then move on and come back to the breath. Okay, we're going to add in some movement now. So we're going to inhale, lift the arms. As they come up to the top, palms touch. They come down the center line. Yoni mudra onto your baby bump and along the thighs. Okay, so in for three, out for six, that same movement. In for three, we lift the arms up. Out for six, they come down. Onto baby bump and along the thighs. Beautiful, carrying on like that. Keeping the eyes closed once you're comfortable with the movements. That's really gonna help you to connect. This time, as we bring our arms up to the top, palms touch, bring them down to the third eye and then let them hover there. And take a second to reflect on connection. Allow your breath just to come to a comfortable place for you. 
comfortable rhythm. Taking your awareness to the third eye, the center of intuition. Notice how you're connected to the ground beneath you. Feel that connection and trust it. Notice how you're connected to the air around you. Breathe in that connection. And notice how you're connected to every part of yourself. The physical and the energetic or the spiritual parts of yourself, including your baby. And then when you're ready, bringing the hands all the way down, yoni mudra and along the thighs, allow the shoulders to relax. And now we're going to inhale, lift the shoulders and as we exhale, rolling them back and down. And what we're trying to do here is pull the shoulder blades towards each other as they come down. So inhale up, exhale, shoulder blades back and down. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to just check in with the neck. So we're going to drop your left ear to your left shoulder, taking the opposite hand to the side. And if it feels good, you can just walk the fingertips back slightly. Relax the jaw. Keep those seat bones melting down into the ground. Relax the shoulders. And then walking the fingertips back, head coming back to the center, opposite side. Left ear melts towards the left shoulder. Sorry, that's right, I'm mirroring you. So your right ear towards your right shoulder. Left fingertips to the ground and walking them back. And come back to the sound of your breath. I think it's starting to rain, but I'm gonna carry on for a minute. Apologies if I have to pause in a second. Okay, we're gonna come into spinal rotations. So I want you to imagine your spine as a kind of straight line. We're gonna turn it round in some circles. So we're opening through the chest and then we're hugging baby in towards the spine. Opening and then contracting. Okay, so we inhale front, exhale back. And the other way, inhale front, exhale back. Excellent, well done. I'm just going to change the cross of our legs. We'll usually have one side that feels normal and one side that feels a bit strange when we're doing things like crossing. So it's interesting to, to switch it up. Okay, taking your right hand, lifting it up, placing it on your left knee, place your left hand behind you and just softly looking over the shoulder. During pregnancy, we have to be really careful with twists. So really only go as far as it's comfortable and please don't push it. Okay, just breathing here, coming back to the sound of your breath. Inhale for three, exhale for six. Back to center, opposite arm coming up, placing it on the opposite knee and looking over the shoulder. Twist. 
twists are really good for detoxifying and that can be physically but emotionally and mentally as well so if you're ever feeling a little bit like you're carrying around some negative energy it's a really good way just to release that okay we're going to come to all fours now if you've got a blanket or anything like that you can pop it under your knees just to make it nice and soft for your knees placing your wrists underneath your shoulders knees under your hips and notice that your hips will be getting wider during the pregnancy so you might just need to really pay attention to that and we're going to come into cat cow so we're going to hug baby in and round through the spine and then we're going to arch the back and look up okay so as we look up that's when we inhale and then as we exhale we tuck the chin and we hug baby in Moving here with your own breath, so your rhythm and your speed might be a little bit different from mine. Just remember to inhale as we look up and exhale as we round. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to draw some circles now. Anything where we're on all fours can be really helpful to allow baby's spine to drop down. Okay, to, uh, take the circle the other way. When baby's spine is down, that's where we want them to be generally for um, a vaginal birth. Okay, from here, we're gonna place the toes together to touch, knees come wide, sinking the bottom back into a lovely child's pose. If you've got any blood pressure um, problems, you might like to use your block or your fists even, just to rest your head. And as you're here in child's pose, Feel your breath going into your back body and really filling up. I'd like you to reflect again on your connection to the earth here and your connection to baby and take a second to send a little message to baby. You're really close to them. It's a very intimate position. So it can be anything, something you'd like to tell them about yourself, a message you'd like them to remember, a little mantra, anything that matters to you that your baby knows. And when you're ready, we're gonna come back up to all fours Spread your fingers wide, so there's lots of energy going into the finger. Okay, we're going to come into sweeping cat. So this is where we push back, and we're rounding through the spine here a little bit, and then we sweep forward and push up. At no point are we arching in the back, okay? We want to keep the back either neutral, the spine neutral or slightly curved like this. Okay, so we're coming back and sweeping forwards. If you need to move your hands slightly to make it more comfortable, then do that. So we inhale forwards, exhale back. Okay, really good. Um, if you haven't yet, I re recommend you take a sip of water. You can always just pause the video and come back to it. Um, we're going to come off our knees now, but then we're going to go back onto them in a minute. I just am aware that I don't want you on your knees for too long. So, back onto the block, and actually, we're going to come to Vardakanasana, so cobbler's pose or butterfly. 
So soles of the feet to touch, another opportunity to really reflect on that connection. And we're just gonna use our hands to give ourselves a lovely massage. So anywhere through the soles of the feet that feels good for you, maybe coming up into the ankles and the um, calf muscle. Calves can get really tight during pregnancy, so they'll thank you for this. been feeling any anxiety which can be really common during pregnancy anyway so you know don't beat yourself up or worry if you're anxious it, it's it's really quite a normal thing to feel during pregnancy obviously if it's getting to a point where it, it's gone beyond that then speak to your midwife but I hope this will help and during lockdown it's been really challenging but for a lot of people so I salute you well done you're doing a great job and the fact that you're here is brilliant but what you can one thing that you can do is uh, place your thumbs onto your big toes just hold them there equal pressure on both sides and breathe and feel that you are centered, that you are safe. Okay, and let that go. Right, we're coming back to the knees again now, so you might want to get your padding back. Moving the block to the side, we're gonna come onto all fours. Uh, I will face you, so you can see what we're doing, because we're actually gonna take your left leg out to the side. Try and make it so it's parallel to the edge of your mat. You're going to take your left hand and peel it open. A lovely open twist. Notice that your hands are really, fingers are spread out really wide. Wrists underneath your shoulder so you're in really lovely alignment. We're going to inhale as we come up. We're going to exhale to place the hand back down. Okay, and this time, if you want a bit more, we're going to thread the needle. So the hand's going to come under the arm. Okay, so we inhale up. We exhale down, either to just place the hand on the floor or to thread the needle. Okay, this time when your hand comes to the top, turn it to face the front, reach forwards, coming into a lovely stretch. back to all fours, bring that leg in, take your right leg out to the side, foot parallel and just check your alignment again. So we want hip over knee, shoulder above your wrist, fingers spread wide. Okay, so we inhale up. First of all, just tap the hand down to kiss the floor. Exhale down. When you're ready, you can come in to thread the needle if you want to. This is so good for the spine, good for digestion, opens up the hips, which is a great way of relieving tension. Okay, and this time we will turn the palm forwards and reach to stretch. Okay, coming back to our knees, we're going to come into a modified hero's pose. So, get your block and place it between your knees. If you have a blanket, you can roll it up and pop it 
on top of the block as well. It's going to help you to connect with the pelvic floor. So we're going to do a bit of pelvic floor work here. So the pelvic floor is like a hammock. If you imagine the front of it's connected to the pubic bone and the back is connected to the coccyx. If you're by yourself and you're comfortable to do it, I recommend you actually really feel where those bones are, get a sense of what your pelvic floor is and how it works. It's really important, I'm sure you know this. Um, so we're gonna just do some contractions here. So we're gonna inhale, pull up the pelvic floor, exhale, release, okay? Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Most people here find it easier if they close their eyes because it's a really deep connection that you need to feel. And we're gonna to come to golden thread breath. So we're gonna inhale, and as we exhale, a really small space in the mouth. Imagining golden thread coming out. Okay, carrying on with that breath alongside the pelvic floor. So you inhale to contract and you exhale really, really slowly to release. Okay, and finally, we're gonna do some fast twitch muscles. Um, so we are gonna imagine that we've got a lift. We're gonna go up to level one, two, three, as we contract. And then as we exhale, we just release softly. Okay, so we're gonna contract now on the inhale. Inhale, level one, two, three. Exhale, release. Inhale, level one, two, three. Exhale, release. Good. Okay, it is time for relaxation. So coming into a position which is comfortable for you, if you are not yet 30 weeks pregnant, it's fine to go onto your back. We're only gonna be here for a few minutes. Um, if you're after 30 weeks, I recommend you lie on your side, use as much padding as you want, pause the video, get really comfortable. And once you're really comfortable, press play. Okay. So coming back to the sound of our breath, we're going to move through the chakras. So we've just connected with our root chakra, which is housed where the pelvic floor is. And imagine in that space a red swirling vortex of energy, which keeps you secure and grounded and anchored. Moving up now to the sacral chakra, an orange swirling vortex of energy. And this is where your baby is, your center of creativity, nurture. Moving further up to where the solar plexus is a yellow swirling vortex of energy. And this reminds us of the power and the strength that we have, like the sun, bringing warmth and light and life. Coming up to the heart center, the green swirling vortex of energy. Compassion, love, forgiveness. Up to the blue throat chakra, Communication, truth, your truth. Up 
up to the third eye. Purple swirling vortex. Center of intuition. And all the way up to the crown of the head. A white swirling energy connecting you to the divine. Notice how you are balanced, connected, grounded. And I'd like you to bring your mind on a little journey with me. I'd like you to visualize yourself as the sun, warm, bright light. And as you zoom out, you can see that the sun is at the center of a swirling galaxy. It's beautiful. There are planets moving around and around. And at the center of all of that, you are there. Centered, strong, grounded, giving life, giving light. Take a few moments now just to relax and feel a deep sense of gratitude. When you're ready, coming onto your left side, use your hands to bring you up from the earth into a seated position. Bringing the hands into prayer position. The divine within me honors the divine within you. Namaste.